This is RadioFire.com. You're truly Dominic K in here, as always, with... Rifa. Rifa in the building. How you doing? Yeah, yeah. All right. So, um, you know, I want to talk about this. Is And unfortunately, this has happened... So many times. So many times. Countless so times. many times. Continues to happen. Yeah, yeah. Uh, just I, like we were talking about earlier, this is just one of those things that probably will never not happen. Yeah, it, it's one of those things. Uh, a man... Uh, receiving 1.2 million after a murder case dropped. Uh, he spent 25 years in prison. 25 years. That's 25 years he could have had raising a family. 25 years he could have spent with a wife. 25 years he could have spent at a job. 25 years he could have had a driver's license. 25 years of technology. Like I can go on and on and on. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Uh, I'm looking at this um, London Report police that's thing. Yeah. Right now, there's been a um, incident on the London Bridge. Um, yep. Yeah, so, um, shout outs and prayers and um, um, thoughts to everyone who is working diligently to rescue people. Right from um, that the London Bridge. Um, but uh, let's get back to 51 year old Desmond Ricks. Uh, says he simply wants to live. I understand that. Following his release from prison. Uh, 25 years. Can you imagine the things that he's probably seen? The things that he's probably almost been into or things that he's probably been into? Yeah. The horror, the... Sh the I mean, because that's a shock. Definitely, definitely. Uh, prior to uh, last Friday... Him being really he young. has not been free since 1992. Which means he has, it, it, it was almost a life situation. He almost yeah. spent life. He was, he was, he yeah, he was sentenced, uh, I guess that is, uh, 25 that is years, life. Years, his life, right? life. Yeah, he was sentenced to 32 years in prison uh, for this, uh, for a homicide time. that they have concluded, obviously, that he did not commit. Uh, at the time he was being tried for the shooting uh, death of a friend outside of a Detroit restaurant, mm. uh, he would be sentenced, as I said, to 32 years. And uh, throughout his time, he maintained every year that he did not deserve to be locked up. Uh, he said the police must have switched up the bullets in his mother's gun, which was recovered from his home, and they said this was the murder weapon. This is what um I have to, and I, I have a personal um story of someone who I know who was um almost uh um in prison for a double murder. Oh he did really? commit yeah, the um murders that happened a couple summers ago where one of the, the guys that got killed was um a university worker. Okay, I remember that on Saratoga or something like that. Mm -hmm. And like it happened that like Saturday, maybe Sunday morning, and then by Monday, three o'clock in the afternoon, they had these guys, um, two guys, already um, locked up and were charging them with the double murder when they didn't do it. So I do understand the amount of trauma that causes someone, and then after 25 years, you just want to live. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I mean, the thing about it is, is yes, there is pressure for the Police. prosecutor to, to solve the, mm -hmm. the crime. There is pressure there. There's pressure from the family, obviously. Pressure and, from uh, over their heads, the commissioners. Yeah, and, yeah. You know, what has The governor, and, all right. of that. There, there is definitely pressure. Uh, however, that does not mean that you, that you don't do your due diligence. That doesn't mean you that you... don't do your job. Yeah, you don't do your job. You don't put it on somebody that didn't do it. Right, especially when... You have evidence that exonerates a person. You know, yeah, you and, and clearly DNA they had evidence. evidence. If we have it now, they had it then. It. And that yeah. happens so many times, and not just with um, African American people, because there right. are, you know, Caucasians, there are anybody, Spanish. anybody yeah. who has ever, you know, been wrongly done by the system. It is definitely a tragedy because the system does not like to be wrong. Well, and so, even when they're caught yeah. in the middle yeah. of being wrong, they will not take ownership and be wrong they will go to the death saying oh no i think this person did it but you have dna evidence all right so 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 check this out this is here's where it really gets bad though okay so let's let's get to the to to this part eight years shy 
of the original release date, mm -hmm. uh, last year, 2016, the case was reopened. Okay. Okay. Now, here's why the case was reopened. The case was reopened because evidence in the case showed that the bullets taken from the victim's body was not. did not match the bullets that they presented at the trial. Right. So where the fuck did these bullets come from, right? right? And so uh, Mr. Ricks was released last Friday and uh, reunited with his family. Now, here's the bad 25 part. Years. 25 years. After he said that he was innocent, I'm sure his mother family. and a different family member was like, right. he's innocent. Everyone. And I'm sure the, the victim right. of the family was saying, no, he did it, and da 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 And I'm quite sure after, I'm hoping that after, you know, evidence came out that they changed their tune. Because sometimes that's hard. Yeah, I'm that's, sure. That's sometimes I'm sure. that's very, very hard when you, you know, and that's Because they had come to terms thing. with this was the guy that killed my right. family Right, and that's another member. thing that I think makes it so dangerous that people are convicted, wrongly convicted, because when, as a police officer, as a detective, you, you know, we look to you as the person who is going to solve this. We look at you as if you tell me so-and-so did something, I'm taking that as you did your due diligence to find out that that person did something. So now I have hate or I have drummed up all this misguided energy towards the wrong person. All right, so yes, I, I agree with that, and and like I said, here's the here's the part that really, really breaks my heart about this. Now, due to the statutes of limitation, mm -hmm. the officers who played a role in setting Mr. Ricks up Will cannot not be, be pursued. Not. But what? But but how is that any heartbreaking? Or That's heartbreaking for me. I mean, it is. I mean, know, it, what they, those it, officers deserve to be in jail. Right? No, and I'm it's not, not going saying happen. that. Right? No, I'm not saying that. But what makes his ordeal that much more traumatizing than the other countless of acts of? Uh, well, yeah, I'm not. I'm not saying that it's not. That I'm just saying and get away with. But I'm just. With. I'm just saying this is just another example. Right. Of how okay, so now we can prove it. So so right. a lot of times they'll say, Oh, we can't prove this and, and with Freddie Gray we can't prove that and Rodney King they couldn't prove this, right. even though you had video evidence right. in, in both right. of those instances. Right. So here's the concrete evidence. Mm -hmm. It took us a while to get here. Right. And I and mm -hmm. I think because statute of limitations, I think that this should supersede it because, because it, it was a lie. Yeah, it, it was a lie it, and, and it was and it was something that was lie. brought up. At the original trial in 1992, it's almost it's almost the same thing like Emmett Till's uh, yeah. um, accuser. Yeah, you wait until you have lived the most life that you are going to live. That means you have literally one foot in the grave and one foot out the grave to confess what people knew all along. Right. Do you understand what I'm saying? Right. Like, I do. Like I his, do. this man who who spent 25 years in jail. I'm quite sure. Everyone that that was supporting him said that he was innocent at some point in time. Sure. You know, so now here it is 25 years later when this man is on his last leg of life. No one can be charged for anything. But then you're going to let him out with $1.2 million. Well, how much of that $1.2 million is he going to have left after after somehow court costs and fees yeah, they're they gonna find some way to take some of this money back taxes yeah and, yeah you know whatever else now michigan being in jail for 25 years yeah the, the, you know, the psychological damage right. i'm sure is, is is unrepairable um michigan law uh affords wrongfully convicted persons fifty thousand for every year that they spent in prison and definitely this is going to go to uh helping him get back on his feet right uh, so definitely but um but I'm glad that he was exonerated, and I'm glad that um, even even after spending 25 years in jail, it seems like his spirit hasn't broken, mm -hmm. which um, mm -hmm. tends to happen. You know, can you sure. get uh, Kali What's his name? Khalifa Brown. Yeah. Uh, he spent three years in jail and then yeah. came out and couldn't deal with it, cope and and took his life. Yeah. Um, yeah. because of the traumatic situation, and then this this what really kills me about this. Because here you have this man spend 25 years in jail for something he didn't do, yet you have the swimmer who spent three months out of a six-month sentence in jail for 
rate. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, it's it, just it's, it's just imbalanced. It, it, it's definitely imbalanced, and um, and the killer's still out there, right? Uh, assuming that killer's still alive, killer's still out there. Because these after police officers, years, we never know. These these police officers definitely. I'm sure that if they investigate some of their other cases, right. they could find something. Hopefully. I that mean, it happens. happens. Yeah. It happens all the time because, like, what happens is, you know, once once you get flagged one time, yeah, then that gives the, uh, you know, the proper authority to go through your jacket to figure out what else is. Sure, in but do you think Internal Affairs or no. Fraternal Order Police is no. gonna say, let's open up the cases of these oh, uh, well, officers? Say it. Oh hell no! You know they're gonna do that. It, they, I don't but, think they'll say it. But or they'll imply that. Oh, they'll say that you know, we, we, you know, he um, should have ever had a gun or you know whatever. But let's know your thoughts in the comment section, uh, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter at the Diamond K Show at Radio on Fire. What is your social media? Uh, Refer to you. Refer to you. Um, definitely. Uh, thank you as always. As always, it's been uh, a pleasure. Always a pleasure. Yeah. Always. No doubt. No doubt. All right. So we will see you guys next time. All right.